Our top story at 5 o'clock, Kansas City officers say they were forced to shoot a man after he tried running one of them over with a pickup truck. This happened about 8.30 this morning in the 8900 block of East 23rd Street. As Jake Peterson reports, it all started with an undercover operation. Yeah, Mark, detectives were monitoring a stolen car this morning. They called in uniformed officers to make an arrest, and that's when they say it turned dangerous. The end of this undercover operation looked like this. That's very unusual for about 20, 30 cops to be driving through this neighborhood like that. And it sounded like this. I heard um, three gunshots. But an hour before the commotion, 23rd Street was calm and this stolen truck was a few blocks away. Officers uh, found an unoccupied stolen auto, so they uh, called in some undercovers and they sat up on it. Captain Steve Young says the unmarked units followed the vehicle to this house on 23rd and then they called backup. Mark units moved in. They went up to effect an arrest. Uh, the suspect saw the officers coming, rushed to get back in the car. Officers say the suspect started ramming police cruisers with his truck, and then at one point he nearly trapped an officer against a tree. That's when police say they started shooting. When a, an officer's almost pinned against a tree by the suspect vehicle, while uh, the suspect vehicle's pushing a, a police car down a driveway with another officer still in it, um, I believe they felt that their lives were in danger. <laughs> Neighbor Amy Gelray started taking video after hearing the shots. It is pretty scary. I looked out the window and words I cannot say, but I was like, oh my God, I cannot believe, you know, it, it's right here. She's it glad here. nobody else right in the neighborhood so was hurt, I but she says home. crime is up around here, so and she's out. Enough's enough. I'm just glad that we're moving. I'm just, I'm, we're done. The suspect was taken to the hospital with non life threatening injuries. Jake Peterson, NBC Action News. Now, the two officers who shot at the suspect are on paid leave during this investigation, which is standard practice. They were not harmed.